So what is going on guys and welcome to episode 54 of the Barnsley career mode here on FIFA 21. Well I am recording this one straight after the last episode as you can see same gear on. But I've got the time and well I quite enjoyed recording the last one so I thought why not let's just carry on. Plus we need to get the season done as mentioned in Monday's episode. If you are looking forward to this one make sure that you pop a like on there for me subscribe to the channel. And well, to start with, let's have a look at the Premier League table. It's been a fairly successful opening to the season for us. As you can see, we sit in sixth place, although all the teams above us have played an extra game. We play Arsenal in our first game today. They have had a pretty poor start to the season, so hoping to pile more misery on them with a decent result in this one. If we do manage to win, we will move up into third position, it looks like so very much battling with the big boys that that's what we expect of course and then the rest of today's episode looks like this we have a trip to Blackpool in the Carabao Cup and then a trip to Goodison Park to finish the episode with a game against Everton and then we will end the episode with a squad roundup but for now not too much to speak of this game just a couple of days in game after the Copenhagen one so uh, yeah let's just get on with it this is the Arsenal lineup then in the first game of this episode. Leno in goal, Maitland Niles, Bolly, Mestres, Medley, and Kalasnach at the back. Ozil and Ben Sheaf in the middle, Pepe, Willian, and Richarlison up front. Well, they've certainly got some decent players, but looking at that and their bench, maybe not hard to understand why they've had a pretty poor start to the season if they've got the likes of Medley and Sheaf as starting players in their lineup. Anyway, we are unchanged as ever. I think I'm happy to play a full strength side in this one, knowing the players are a little tired because we'll probably rotate for the cup game against Blackpool. But let's hopefully pick up a decent win and add to Arsenal's misery. Although there is one man we will have to watch out for. Nicola Pepe is in a fine vein of form at the moment. Three goals in his past three games. That's a lovely... Oh, I should have played in Vasquez, really. Um, yeah, three goals in his last three games for Nicola Pepe. So... Uh, He's Morgan certainly one to watch out for. Garcia finds Sangali. Gives way. Can he try and roll here. Zach Medley here? Gets away from him. Thomas will try and bend this one, Luke Thomas. In the end, it's easy for Leno to collect. And it's William actually playing centrally for Arsenal inexplicably. Oh, Silva. Can he get the shot away? Fabio Silva. Forces a good save out of Bert Leno. It's not often you say that at the moment in our <laughs> in real life. That I mean, it certainly is for Arsenal. Again to Gibbs White, just not quite working out. It's just too too busy in the defence, and we just can't get a run or a pass. Helic makes a lovely tackle there, though. Vasquez, Gibbs White. Can we make something happen now? Gibbs White. He's got the space. To get away, Gibbs White tries to beat Leno at his near post. But the German equal to it. Williams get the corner in. Helic is there to meet it. It's headed away by William Vasquez. Can't get the header in front of Richarlison. I think that is going to be hard time, and it is frustrating one. This one, Arsenal certainly. Well, they've had, they've been decent in possession. Haven't really troubled the goalkeeper much. It must be said. But you can tell that they're certainly just trying not to lose this game with the, how defensively set they are. Back to Sheaf. Just holding on to the ball well, Arsenal. But not really making anything happen. Although I say that, and you can guarantee what's about to happen. You could tell it was going to happen. I said nothing was happening. They find the ball through. Pepe has four and four. And after offering very little all game, and frustrating us, Arsenal have got exactly what they wanted. They've got the goal. And they wouldn't be surprised if they just sit on this now. Silva. Gibbs White. Sangali. He's in. Lucas Sangali. Oh, it's a great save from Leno. Oh, it was travelling into the bottom corner, but he's managed to get fingertips to it. Just to divert it away. This is it now. It has to be now. Helic from the oh, it's headed away. 
And that is going to be that. And it is. And we suffered defeat to Arsenal. Oh, well. absolute. I'm so annoyed. For so. They've had one shot all. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Oh, for so many reasons, that annoys me. For so many. Oh, right. Let's go and smash Blackpool to make me feel a bit better. Well, this is the Blackpool team then for this cup game. Chris Maxwell in goal. John Thornley. Uh, who else? Matty Virtue. There are about all the names I recognise in that Blackpool team, it must be said. Don't know if they're still in League One. If they are, it'd be a great achievement to get to this well. This is round four, so the round of 16 in the Carabao Cup. We have rotated rather heavily for this game. As I said, we probably would in the last episode. You can see some of the names there. But this is our team then. Omlin is still in goal. Kraft and Rogerio come into the back line. Garcia and Helic keep their places. Completely different midfield three. Bel Kebler sitting. Isaiah Brown or Izzy Brown and Gasinovic in the middle. Campbell comes in for Silva. But Thomas and Vasquez keep their places. They were able to maintain fitness after coming off in the last game. Looks like some of those players have got grass stains on their uh, shirts already. God knows what they've been up to in the warm up. But never mind. This should be a routine victory. I want to score some goals in this one after losing somehow to Arsenal in the last game. That's, a long, that's an absolutely superb ball from Belkebla. And Kraft is in. Oh, he tries to get that over Maxwell on the stretch. Probably left the cross a little bit too late. Campbell was lurking. Vasquez to get it in. Helic is there. And Helic. Inside five minutes, just about, finds the top corner, heads it into the ground, into the top corner. Couldn't, unfortunately, do that for us against Arsenal. But, well, off to an absolute flyer. Exactly what we wanted, exactly what we needed. Those Barzi fans are enjoying their trip to the seaside at the moment. But yeah, it gets on to the end of it. Nowhere near the keeper, even if it was... He's not saving that. Right in the corner. Down into the ground. Lots of power. 1-0. Who knows what the score could be come full time. We'll find Luke Thomas. Can we slot this one in? Oh, no. Okay, it comes back to Thomas. Tries to bend one. Twice now we've tried to play Izzy Brown in. And the ball just isn't coming off for him. I'm probably playing the wrong type of pass, to be fair. Although that's really well worked. Helic has to come across, you know. But Sarkic will get there. For that Lovely one two again. Oh chance. mate, the so turn from Robson is superb. No of wow. They deserve that. That piece of play was spectacular from Blackpool. That piece of play was better than anything Arsenal offered up all game. I mean, yeah, Arsenal beat us, okay. But that play was a better move than any move that Arsenal strung together. Lucas Vasquez. It's fair to say I'm being complacent in this game and actually I need to get my head screwed on. Although Izzy Brown is in here. He's trying to be held back by the defender. And the shot just really had nothing on it and it's easy for Maxwell to tip behind. Although Helic, oh, he gets on the end of that one. But too much power on it from too close in and he said it over the bar. Oh, and he's managed to come away with the ball there, Yates. Uh, it's not Yates, actually. This is Yates. Well, we have a really good tackle, though, it must be said. And Vasquez is in here, potentially. Campbell's got away from his man. Tyrese Campbell will find the back of the net this time on the stroke of half-time. The counter has paid dividends. Vasquez bursting down the left-hand side. Campbell shows great pace to get in front of his man. Look at that determination to get there. Lovely little ball in, centre of the goal, six yards out. Campbell, he'd done well to miss that, but he finds the back of the net. We are in front. Oh, well, I think, you know, the quality that we have, you know, when we've got on the ball, we have looked good. Just the final pass might not quite have been there. But, you know, fair play to Blackpool. They've really played in this first half, and they've been an absolute credit. Garrity. He's found the ball well to Labala. Kraft has to get out to him. 
inside to Virtue. Options in the middle. And there, Garrity. Oh, Yates has got the space. And he's got and scores. <laughs> I got myself in sixes and sevens there with my defenders. And Hellick couldn't get across close to him. And Yates has grabbed his second goal of the game. And Blackpool are back level in this one. Well, Derek, we've just seen a remarkable the save. And then I he's going to release Vasquez here. Everybody thought he was in. Vasquez can get away from the defender. He might be able to. Finds Kasinovic. He'll find Izzy it. Brown. Shot is blocked. Can we get a cross in? Campbell. Oh, he gets his head on it. Not, not on target. Less than 10 minutes to go now. Brown. To Vasquez. On and on he goes. Campbell is free in the middle again. This and one's easy for Maxwell to take, and it looks like, oh, I was going to say, barring any mistakes here, Blackpool are going to take this one to extra time, or is it straight to penalties? Straight to penalties, of course it is. Shit, right. Um, right then, enjoy this. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. Oh, he's put it wide, Dimitri Mitchell. He's missed the first one. Campbell is going to go top bins here. And a lovely, lovely penalty right in the top corner. Yates, the goal scorer. He's found the top corner as well. No mistake in that one. Freezer will aim for the same corner. He's looking to put this right in the stanchion. And he has absolutely top draw. From the Austrian, Robson played so well in the game, buried that one bottom corner. Absolutely no mistake. All the penalties are going to the same side. Kasinovic again looking to put this in the stanchion. Oh, and he's put that just under the crossbar. Great penalty. The Barla will stand strong. Oh, it's a lovely penalty. Thought they might try one down the middle. I'm going to follow suit. Actually, going to switch sides with Izzy Brown. In. Aim for top bins. Bit of power on this one. He sends the keeper the wrong way. Fantastic penalty. And Ward needs to score this or Blackpool are out. And it's a save from Omlin. He gets the right way. They've gone the same way pretty much every time. Omlin makes the save and the, the, the dream, the fairy tale has ended on penalties. How cruel sometimes football can be. Obviously, I'm glad that we're through, but uh, there was a part of me that wanted Blackpool to win after the performances that they've been putting in, or the performance they put in today. Fair play to them. Deserve to take it to penalties. This is the Everton lineup then for the final game of the episode. Anthony Lopez in goal and Babu Pongracic, Ferro and Henriks at the back. Kabamin, Brozovic and Aaron Ramsey in the middle. Horta, Ben Yedda and Sinistera up front. Very different looking Everton side, but plenty of quality in there. Our team is a little bit changed from the last game. Omlin in goal. Willems at right back today. Garcia, Medina and Rogerio in at the back. Gibbs White, Decore and Sangali in the middle. Vasquez, Silva and Frieza up top. Baku and uh, Kraft really struggling for fitness. So we've had to ask. <laughs> Brought in Rogerio and had to shift Willems over to the right back spot. A little bit makeshift. But plenty of strength in there as well. Hopefully we can uh, get a win. Although Goodison has Horta. Gets past Ruggiero with ease. Goodison has not been a place for us to be too successful at. It must be said. Vasquez does well to intercept the pass. And Gibbs White has got away from Aaron Ramsey here. He's into the area. Gibbs White oh, tries to beat Lopez. He's near post, but he's equal to it. And Williams will whip this one in. It's Silver there to meet it. Lopez comes out, though, with the punch. Get the ball back out to Jetro Williams. Back on his left. Silver's there. Tries to get ahead on it. But it's dealt with by Everton, and they can bring it out of the defence. Well, the pass a little bit wayward, but the touch off to Corey. Ashley comes back Chance to them. To Freezer, That's it's a lovely ball. Gibbs White will hit this one on the volley. Sure Lopez positioned himself happens. well, but the volley was pretty poor, to be honest, and it's easy for Lopez. Oh, it's a team. good first time ball to so find Horta. Garcia steps across really well, and now is our chance. Let's counter. Oh, 
Vasquez is in behind. I thought I wanted the first pass to him. Vasquez. I'm so glad he's going in Atletico Madrid. He cannot finish his dinner. Thought free agent from Real Madrid. Yeah, I'll have a bit of that. Silva is in behind it. And Fabio Silva. Again, tries the near post, but Lopez equal to it. Just can't find a way past the former Leon keeper at the moment. Comes right, get the header on. But that is hard time. And well, it's been us with the chances so far in this game. But we can't, well, Everton even even had registered a shot there. They had one chance from Horta, but of course it was offside. We need to find a breakthrough. <laughs> Can't afford to not pick up any points in the Premier League today. Ramsey's made the run from midfield, and that's who he will find. Oh, needed Sangali to get back at him there, really. Medina, though, steps in brilliantly. He's done really well in this episode so far. Uh, this game so far is Medina. Silva, he gets away from his man, though. Pograsic, no match. Can he get a ball in? Oh, Lopez. The hand just takes it away from Gibbs White. Have it make a sub, and I think they're going to make one of my own. Oh, I can't be dealing with this. Oh, Garcia's absolutely gone for it. Check Tosin. Oh, no. Kabami's offside, surely. What a save from Omlin. He's not offside, though. Ramsey. Oh, what a bang. I can't complain. The defending there was atrocious, to be honest. Well, there's a lovely one too, and that absolute rocket. Not a lot you can do about that. We've never really had much luck at Goodison, and again, it's proving to be a bit difficult. I thought, especially you know, recording this one after the last, straight after the last one, where things started to go well for us, might pick up some decent results. Oh, you can't fucking blow the whistle there, ref. But it is a defeat, a really good goal to win the game as well, can't complain, really poor defensively, although, well, Everton turned it up considering they didn't even have a shot in the first half, probably can't complain to be honest, based on that second half performance, they turned it up and that put us to the sword and Ramsey's goal, like I said, worthy of winning any game. Well, we know next time out to start with we have well we have the second game against Copenhagen Copenhagen oh, whatever I'm flustered you can tell right um, as you can see there that's the Europa League group we're looking comfortable in that let's have a look at the Premier League it's not going to be as pretty now unfortunately we'll have lost touch and we are sitting ninth currently same record as West Ham, but a much better goal difference. Everton actually move above us. Fulham still undefeated. We're now six points off the Champions League spots. Only three points off Europe, though. Again, still early days. And Liverpool have actually dropped points as well, so that's got City back in it. But yeah, still early days. We are within touching distance, but we need to iron out this inconsistency. It's not us. So there's they only could go out on short-term loans because you can't a player can't go out on loan like basically it's not like fm for example we like if even if a player's in the last year of his contract you can loan him out for a season on fifa for whatever reason you can't do that um like because he's in the last year of his contract you couldn't loan him for a year so obviously moving forward if i do another career mode then i'll know you know if i want to loan this guy out i'll have to give him a new contract or whatever uh, anyway, we move on. Baku up one to eighty. Really happy with this guy. Um, yeah, he's just just a really good addition. Really happy with him. Could grow from him. Rostovsky was our backup right back. He's seventy seven rated on the transfer list. Hasn't had any growth, but with Kraft coming in in the summer, same rating but a little bit younger. And he's got you know Rostovsky can play further up the field, but with Kraft. Being able to play centre back is probably the rotation I'd rather prefer, like the extra option. So unfortunately, Rostovsky finds himself on the transfer list. Decore up one to 77, 31 now actually. But yeah, still my starting centre defensive midfielder. Had this guy since season two. I really enjoyed him, to be honest. He's just a rock in the centre defensive midfield spot. Bill Kebler, we brought in 76 rated. You know, played a few games, not been too bad to be fair. Just a decent backup option to Decore, I think. 
Edgar joined in the summer, I think, this summer on a free, and we had high hopes for him, but then we were able to bring in Bel Kebler. So he's going on loan to Newcastle in January, get some much needed game time. Joel Hobson, again, a youngster, 63, wanted to get him out on loan. Emilio Martin is a youngster that's out on loan at Tondela, 60 rated, no growth from him. Jacobe Luna is a youngster on loan at Red Bull Salzburg. So one, we didn't see him, actually, in the games against us. Obviously, he can't play against us. He's rated 67 at 16. So, you know, if we carried on the save, he's someone we might see in the future. No growth from him. as we had Yuka, Lucas Sangali already up to, to 81 on paper our best player and he's, he, he's he's superb we know what we get from Sangali and we love him Callum Styles still at the club 68 overall on loan at FC Michelin now 23 Manuel Simo up 1 to 65 again is another youngster we brought in Yudis Musa bless him he's been moved here there and everywhere There's, he finds himself on loan at half the time this season we moved him to central midfield thinking he'll get some game time and then we were able to bring in, I think it was Morgan Gibbs-White and Izzy Brown. So he lost his spot. But 20 years old, still got plenty of potential at 74 rated. Yeah, like I said, on loan at Hoffenheim. Not much growth we're seeing, especially on these loans at the moment. It would be nice to see a bit. Gisinovic, 78 rated, no growth from him. But again, a very good backup option. You know what you're going to get from him. He's got a goal in him. Just a decent little player, to be honest. Miranda on loan at PSV. The youngster made his breakthrough in the first season. But hasn't been able to get into the side since. Hopefully, we can see some growth from him out on loan at PSV at 73 rated. Will Lancaster, another youngster on loan at Conyers Sports, 61 rated, no growth from him. Dudziak, bless him. We've loved Dudziak, what he's done for this club, but unfortunately, the additions that have been made just means he's fallen down the pecking order. And so he heads back to Germany. He will join Schalke in January when the transfer window opens. Jeremy, thank you for all you've done for us. Morgan Gibbs-White, good addition, 23 years old. Can't believe he was a free agent, to be honest, up 1-79. to Has changed the way we've played. Is a decent option, but still plenty more to get from him, I think. And, you know, he still needs to improve for certain, but very good. Integral part of the side now, I'd say. Connor Lacey is a youngster, 59 rated, out on loan at BBV Venlo. Lewis Osborne, another youngster we've got, 64 rated at 17. Enrique Hurtado, another youngster we've got, 66 rated on loan at Besiktas. Izzy Brown was a free agent pickup this summer, 77. I think a good squad player. We're certainly, you know, happy to pick him up on a free as a squad player. That's all he is at the moment, unless he starts to improve. Hasn't really seen that much game time, though. But um, he's got a long way to go if he wants to get Gibbs White and especially Sangali out of the team. Luke Thomas up 2-80. to 80. You know, love Luke Thomas. He's just been with us since the start. He's carried on growing and growing. Really good to see. Really happy to see that he's maintained his spot throughout this time as well. And only 24 as well. So with dynamic potential, if this series carried on, who knows how far he could get. Karamoka Dembele out on loan at Fiorentina. 76 rated, only 20 years old. I think he's on a two-year loan, actually. Um, I don't know when that started, but, yeah, hopefully he'll get some growth. Um, and he would have been a good one, again, to use in the future. Dominic Freezer up 1-78. to 78. His contract is expiring at the end of the season, I'm sure. I'll have to sort that out in January. But up 1-78, to 78, again, been with us since the start. Really, really enjoy him. He might find his spot back come January, depending on what happens with the... Uh, Vasquez going out to uh, Atletico Madrid, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe we'll make an addition. Who knows? Samuel Grancy is a winger we bought in in the summer again on a free, just a good backup option, to be honest. 76 rated. Brennan Lee, a youngster, up 1 to 63. This man has turned down so many loans, it's ridiculous. I'll kind of be glad when his contract expires, to be honest. He pisses me off. Gabriel Bauer is a loan uh, player, youngster who's out on loan at Altach, 67 rated. The last loan that he had, this man grew by like 10 at uh, 10 overall. So I'd love to see what he could do maybe um, in the future. Unfortunately, we won't be able to see that. Vasquez, 79 rated, has already dropped one um, since he's come in. And uh, yeah, he's joining Atletico when the... Uh, when the when the January transfer window opens, a bit of an experiment that hasn't quite worked out the way we wanted it to. 
but we can't turn down the money they're offering if it turns permanent. Stefan, another player who we brought in in uh, in the summer on a free, and um, yeah, kind of just you know with the addition again, the additions we've made, Thomas Vasquez. They didn't really see a place for him, so I put him on the low list. He's joining West Ham on loan when the transfer window opens. Kind of wish I'd kind of kept that now, to be honest. Carrasco, another youngster who's out on loan at AZ Alkmaar. He's 70 overall. Escobar, another youngster we've got, 65 rated. Silva, up one already this season to 80. An exciting prospect. I love this man. What he's done for this club is incredible. The amount of goals he scored, I just love playing with him. His finishing is superb. We wish his passing would be that little bit better, but um, yeah, still really, really enjoy using him, our main man. Tyrese Campbell, 75 rated, a very adequate backup, very happy with him, as I said in previous. Um, yeah, just unfortunate for him, really. I think he had, could have the potential to be half a decent player, but just finds himself behind Silver in the pecking order because we only play one up front. Kind of hard for him, but he does make an impression more often than not when he plays, which is good. Jack Aitchison, another youngster out on loan at AZ with Carrasco. He's 70 overall. George Miller, 66 rated striker. He's been on the transfer list for God knows how long, but no one seems to want him. Oliver Davis, another youngster, 66 overall. And Alexander Randall, 71 rated. Up one this year, to be fair, youngster that, uh, yeah, we tried to get out on loan. But, uh, yeah, nobody wants him, but it's because his contract is expiring. So, yeah. Quite a bloated squad, it must be said. I think don't think we can make any more additions. Um, I think we're sort of maxed out. Um, and if we look at our youth academy, there's a lot of talent in there as well. Uh, this craft bloke looks all right, to be fair. But yeah, loads of players. Um, if I do future career modes and stuff on the like next year's game, I've learned a lot of lessons from this year's career mode, as well as watching other people mistakes that I've made. So. I certainly will be improving because I brought pretty much brought through any Tom, Dick and Harry who had a half decent bit of potential. Um, but yeah, so that's the sort of squad report at this moment in time. In terms of the next episode, well, this one was a bit of an episode to forget, wasn't it? But we start next episode with the home leg against Copenhagen before a home game against Wolves in the league. And then we finish with a trip to the Etihad. And with the way we've been playing, I am not looking forward to that whatsoever. But guys, this one a little bit of a longer one with the squad report. But if you have enjoyed this one, pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.